as before with all these others, I'm reading um, as verbatim as I can the outside lecture and workshop script from David. We put our own twist on it, but follow this as closely as you can because he's the master. Okay, so what he says here is they teach seven methods to book as many lectures as you want, and he's going to show a few of them today. To be successful at workshops, you need a proper introduction. Now this is typically, this video should be for PR personnel. Okay, anyone who's setting up lectures here. Um, so you should know how to survey an audience to find their problems and how to close them. Since one of our most popular workshops is how to eliminate stress-related health problems, this is what he's going to focus on. Okay. Um, the, it's now entitled, the new workshop is called The Solutions to Stress-Caused Health Problems uh, because what he's found is that it just attracts more personnel. So when marketing it in newspapers or flyers on posters, this is what they put on it. The solution to stress caused health problems or headaches or fatigue or depression, anxiety, sleep, etc. Now all lectures start with an introduction and this is the one you want to use. So for a doc or even the staff, this is what you want to do. If you're a staff member, you're going to be referring to um, Good afternoon, my name is Sally. And I'm here on behalf representing the Wellness Clinic and representing Dr. Williams, for example. Okay, if you're the doc themselves, you just read it. So I'm going to read it as if it's the doc. Good afternoon, my name is Dr. Williams. I am a board certified member of the American Board of Oriental Reproductive Medicine uh, in, um, and an, a licensed acupuncturist in the state of California. I did my undergraduate studies at uh, Kingston College in London, England and received my uh, acupuncture degree from the prestigious Pacific College of Oriental Reproductive Medicine. I'm here today to talk to you about disease-related issues caused by stress. I'm considered an expert on this subject. Again, the doctor is considered an expert on the subject if you're not he or she. Uh, due to the amount of study that I have done and the number of people I have helped with this problem. In our office, we pride ourselves on providing a loving, compassionate, supportive environment to help our patients not only regain their health, vitality and youth, but also to maintain their health once regained. I'm mentioning here that you will be reading this. Don't have to memorize it, you'll be reading this. We provide care for children, seniors and persons of all ages. We have taken care of some of the most notable personalities in our community and patients who come to us from long distances due to the unique approach we, ha we have to helping restore health. My patients often tell me that I am the best doctor they have seen because of our caring approach and the results we get. You see, this is not you saying you're the best, this is your patients saying, or our patients are saying that the doctors are the best. This is perhaps due to the fact that I'm constantly attending advanced programs of study on the latest and most innovative methods to help my patients. I'm passionate about my work. I volunteer my time as a member of the Distinguished Nonprofit Foundation of Wellness Professionals, which is a national organization of health care experts who lecture free of charge in their community. Now, the information you're about to receive could change your life and perhaps the lives of others you know. So please give me your full attention and let's get started. So see my tone and what I'm saying. This is pretty much how you want to do it. Now, I'm reading also here. Two other most important outside lecture basics are the survey and the close. This is where it comes down. So after the survey, there are five steps you must cover. I'm not going to go over the survey now. We're going to do that separately. But I'm going to follow this as he, as he reads it. So. Um, you ask the, sir, the audience to raise, ha raise their hands if they had one or more problem on the survey. Basically, I'm going to give you a snippet. What you do is you say, with the stress survey, I want you to check the box to see if you've had any headaches. In the last 30 days, have you been experiencing any headaches or migraines, whether it's mild, medium, or severe? I want you to check the box. 
Check the box if you've experienced a headache. Now, a mild headache could be something that you lick it up with and it's always there and you sort of get on with it. To a headache that makes you stop and reach for the bottles in the, in the drawer to try and get rid of it. To the migraines that put you into the dark room and cave where you can't be anywhere with light or sound and that you're wishing that it would end yesterday. Okay, I'm giving you an example. It doesn't matter where it is. If you've had a headache, check the box. That's an example of how you give the survey. And each one of these, not all of them, the first three or four to get them, to get them the experience. And you ask them, I want you to check the box. And also, I want you to raise your hand if you've had a headache. Raise your hand if you've had a headache in the last 30 days. They're going to raise their hand. Okay? So I wanted to include that because otherwise you're going to be going backwards and forwards. So, ask the audience to raise their hands if they had more than, after they've done all this, I want them, I'm going to ask you, everyone here, to raise your hand if you've had more than one symptom, if you've checked more than one box on the stress survey. Now, you tell the audience if they've had more than one problem, if they checked more than one box, if they had more than one problem, that this is something wrong. There, there is never a normal symptom, okay? All symptoms are warnings of a body that is breaking down. Now, if you don't act on these warnings, things will get worse. Here's the analogy, the ones you probably heard me say. It's the automobile analogy. Now, audience, if you had the light go on on your dashboard indicating that your engine needed to be checked, would you check the engine or would you just ignore it? I would check it. I see. Now, how long would the warning light have to remain on before you took action? Give me, and you can ask them. Five minutes, a day, a week, whatever. There may be some giggles. You hear them out. Now, symptoms, your body symptoms are a warning that from the body that something is wrong and the body needs to be checked. It's just the same as a car. A symptom is not the problem. It's an indicator of a problem. Same thing with the body. The symptom is not the problem, it's an indicator that something's cool, whatever's causing it is the problem. Okay? That leaves you two options today. Now, if you want to go in the example, I use the example, if you smash the check engine light of a car or put electrical tape of it over it, you wouldn't be getting rid of the problem, i.e. the crack in the engine that's sending that signal, would you? No, it's the same thing with the body. If you've got a huge nail in your foot, God forbid, and you've got pain, taking Vicodin to numb it, or morphine to, to numb the pain, would not get rid of the problem unless you took the nail out. Would you agree with that? Yes. So do you see the difference between the cause and the symptom? That you want to make sure that patients are understanding. Okay, so getting back to this. This leaves you two options today. You could continue to do what you've always done, or you, you eat the same, exercise the same, etc. Or you could decide today to make the changes to improve your health. This is the key desire, this is the key question here. You today can make to decide to make the changes. Now, if I could show you, if we could show you today how to get rid of your problems naturally and affordably, would you want to? That's the question. Would you want to? Now, I want you to please raise your hand if you would want to improve your health if the methods were natural and affordable. I want you to raise your hand right now. Now, if you don't get anyone, and they're all sitting like this, you ain't got them. They ain't going anywhere. What I would suggest you do is you say, okay, obviously I'm with the wrong cloud. Why don't I just pack up and leave? Because I don't want to have your health be more important to me than it is for you, okay? I'm being quite direct and quite frank, but I, I'm out here volunteering because I care about people. Now, I want you to ask yourself and let me know, honestly, if you could, if you could see a way that you can improve your health and your function without unnecessary drugs or surgery, not just numbing the symptoms, that was natural and affordable. Is this something you would want to do? I want each and every one of you to answer honestly. I want you to raise your hand right now. And you show them. And then you should get 
all, if not the majority of people. There's always going to be someone in the corner going, this. All right? I don't want you to ever focus on them. All you're going to do is focus on the individual ones that are you want to be with. You can't focus on everyone. You focus on one person at a time. You speak to one person at a time. Okay? That's what you need to do. The close, the last part, then you go through and you read the script. I mean, you read the PowerPoint. That's easy. There's this, there's this, there's this. You know, that's it. The, cl the pre-close, the uh, raising the hands, that's the key. They've got to be willing to make that decision. Okay? So now, at the end, you end by offering them a, a gift. Now, I would like to close this workshop by offering a gift to each and every one of you. That means you, Sally, you, Mary, everyone in there individually. I'm speaking to you individually. Okay? Now, you've got to describe the gift in detail. It's not just a gift. It's here. It's nice. Go and do it if you want. Now, it's a gift. It's the opportunity to come to our office for a consultation and screening to see if we could help you at no charge. The consultation will help us Find out what you have done to injure your body. Now, let me explain how wellness care works. The concept of wellness has taken on a broad meaning related to healthcare. It is considered care without drugs that can not only eliminate the health problems, but prevent them. That's what we mean by health care. 